and welcome to another episode of Walking Talking Gardeners. Do you want to ask me what's in the box, Simon? Oh, we have two rather auspicious boxes here, and uh, pray tell, what's in the boxes? Well, Simon's very good at ordering lots of plants, and they come through the post, and we have countless boxes. But I've got something better than plants. Better? Better. Garden. I don't know what we got. <laughs> oh, look, it's tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> Speedy. Yeah. We're going to put up hibernation. Look at him. He's yeah. been in his little hibernation box. And it's warmed up. And he has woken up. As has. Another box. <laughs> Another box. Let's go and get some guns. Shall I start again? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Gonzales. Yes, I think your voice have got too high. Oh, uh, it's Gonzales. I do have a question. I do have a question. Um, oh. Is that bird pet? No, it's cuttlefish. Cuttlefish pet. Yeah. So, uh, what is the title of this video for our viewers, darling? Lord is very happy. <laughs> Um, it's tortoise hibernation success. Oh, uh, so tortoises are tortoises coming out of hibernation. Yes. They are. They haven't been eaten by the rats, and they are still alive. Oh, your face. Can I just clarify? We have no rats. We don't have rats. No. no. I just thought I talk through what's happening now. So. Yes. Ah, a bit like our tender bone plants. I'm not going to come straight out in the garden. It's way too cold out here. Indeed. So. They've been in the garage, they've been very cold, and you can always feel like they're nice cold, but now they've warmed up, and they actually feel like a normal tortoise temperature, yeah? They're not too cold, but what I want to do is I want to start eating and cooking. That's the key, yeah, get everything going. So, I'm still keeping them in their little box for a few weeks, I've got them in the house. Uh -huh. Simon loves having them in the house, don't you, honey? Mm. Mm. So they're love, in the house, scuffling around. I love the way they make this random noise. It makes me think that there's an intruder yes, in the hallway. They're really good at doing that. Flipping things. So I'm keeping them in their box. What I've got in their box? A newspaper. A bit of cuttlefish. That's always really good for their beaks. A bit of digestion. Um, their little house. What's this? What I'm doing every day. I want to bought myself huh? an extra big tortoise bath. Oh. Some may say this is an oven dish. I say it's a tortoise bath. Fair is. enough, yeah. And so every day I am. Um, get my tortoise. Now I'm putting it in the bath. And I fill it up with warm water. So it has to be warm. She's trying to sort of get her more energised again, get her more warmed up. Okay. May I ask her a question? So, so how warm would that be? How, warm would, how would you tell Ooh. that's not too warm? I suppose at the same temperature as if you put a baby in the bath. You don't want it scorching, you don't want it cold. Yeah. You want it sort of a little bit warm really. Tepidly so, warm, okay. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want it cold. Make it cold or get, you know, get bored. But yeah, warm enough that you would, you know, you'd feel safe with putting a sort of baby in the bath temperature. Okay. And then what we do is like, oh, we've got a scrubbing brush, tortoise scrubbing brush. Is that, is that my daughter's yeah. scrubbing brush? Possibly. <laughs> about that. Obviously, being a man, I have a blue. Of course. Uh, other colours are available. Of course. And uh, so you fill this with tepid water. Mm -hmm. I can get the water in, so I'm going to have a little shell of scrub. I mean, these were particularly dirty because they buried themselves in the... Uh, in the ground before I really had time to put them in their box properly. Did, Lorna, did you want to stop there and then get some water and actually do the proper washing now? Yes, I do. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's pause this and we'll go forward in time. A few moments later. Get you! Get you bloody daughters! Bloody daughters! Yeah, I'm still coming. Oh, okay. Oh, does he like that? Oh, he loves it. They can feel through their shells, so yeah. yeah but they they like being cleaned and brushed. Keep some 
lovely. And they do need to drink tortoises. You can get the moisture from the water just by sitting in it. Yeah. And from their food. So you don't need to leave bowls of water out for them or anything like that. <laughs> but um, what this does warms them all up. So it gets his uh, system all, all starting to go. What I'm trying to do is get him to eat and poop properly. <coughs> I'm not hibernating. I'm making sure it's all okay. Because he's obviously not eaten anything for five months. Mm -hmm. So we want to get all the systems up and running again. Hence why I've given them a little bit of cuttlefish. And they've got a bit of iceberg lettuce. A bit of tomato so is their favourite. Um, and they're going to have a strawberry soon as well. Getting some strawberries. I'm just really trying to encourage them to eat. I don't really eat for about the first week coming out of hibernation. I might have a little nibble. And then they start to sort of get used to the, the warmed up temperature. Mm -hmm. they start to go. They start pooping. <laughs> and then they start eating. And then that's it. They don't stop eating. So, uh, yeah. Here's... Uh, it's all speedy, he'll sit on the bath probably for about 10 minutes until it starts to go cold again and then I move him out and I put him in now and I have a little a little bit of dinner as well. Right. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, well, do you want to do a, an ending? That's how much I love tortoises. Well, I think you've made your case very clear. Yes. Thank you for your video. <laughs> and uh, We'll see you in the next one when they do something slightly more interesting than just sat there like lemons. Bye bye. Uh, they are interesting. Aren't you interesting? You're interesting. You're interesting. You're interesting, aren't you? Interesting. Weirdo.